Morning. <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks. We, we've been off for a little bit, but we're back today and we're talking about artificial intelligence. I'll tell you, like dealing with some of the like killer robots. Dealing, dealing with some of the contractors we've been dealing with lately, we need some kind of intelligence. I'm, I'm ready to settle for artificial. We'll talk That's about that next week. Yeah, but we've uh, we've got a rock star on here today. We're going to mm -hmm. tell you guys all about artificial intelligence and how to use it in your real estate investing. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to hear yeah. what he has to say. Me too. Okay. So guys, grab your, uh, your, your next cup of coffee or your Mountain Dew or whatever it is that you do. And we'll be back in 45 seconds. More indeed, grabbers. It's Tuesday. Gosh, it's enough time for another episode of Goat Talk. We've been off for a couple of weeks, haven't we? Yes. Well, last week we were going to be on, but the whole city of Bella Vista had an internet shortage or outage. Right. We ran okay. out of internet all day long. We used it up. We ran out. It was. <laughs> so, it was. So it was. It was kind of sad, really, to think like. We're, I felt like I was just wandering around the house. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> we're, too, we're dependent on it. Couldn't do anything with no internet. Well, but we're back today and we're talking about AI, artificial intelligence, and how to use it in your business, man. We've got one of the OGs in the business here today mm -hmm. with us. And we're going to bring him on in just a minute. Uh, first, we're going to give you a couple of commercials real quick. If you guys are listening to our podcast or, or Goat Talk, on uh, one of the mediums out there. Hey, listen, go to our YouTube channel, sub2tv.com. Make sure you subscribe. We release, gosh, a video just about every single day. Uh, we, of course, all the Goat Talk episodes, the podcast are there. And then some, uh, the some tips. The little yeah. notification bell, too, so you know when we come on live. That's right. Uh, so make sure that you do that. And if you're interested along the way in creative finance, in learning how to buy all the houses you want with no banks, uh, very little cash, and uh, not having to fill out any loan applications, uh, you can join us in $7 coaching for $7 a month. Uh, I will answer your Every question. Time. Yeah, that's right. So get over there and get started with that. Say good morning to us if you're on here. Let us know who's here. Uh, let's see, uh, Tammy Cruson in Atlanta. Good to see you, Tammy. Uh, got Cindy Crane from down in Mississippi. Good to see you this morning. Uh, okay. Cindy's my girl. Yeah. So good morning, everybody. Uh, all right. We're going to get started. So, uh, guys, when I got started in, in real estate investing, uh, no one knew what AI was. I don't think that was, it wasn't a thing. It was just in the movies. Uh, it, it wasn't really a reality, but the expert in marketing of all kinds was Richard Rood. Uh, mm -hmm. And now he's an expert in marketing. He's an expert in a bunch of things, but he's also uh, an expert in artificial intelligence and how we need to use it to market our businesses and especially as real estate investors. So uh, we were fortunate enough to get him to agree to come on today. So uh, good morning, Richard. Great to see you. Man, I am so excited to be back with you on your show. I think we got we got together twice, and uh, yeah, I just talked to five hundred real estate investors in Ohio on how to use AI in your real estate business, and so I'm fresh out of that. So let's talk about. Uh, I, I so I look forward to talking about that. So thank you for having me on. Hey, man, we're excited to have you here. Uh, you know, of course, AI has been a big thing for for a bit now. Everybody's on chat GPT or whatever that thing is. I probably said it wrong. 
But uh, but tell us, first of all, tell everybody about you, Richard, about your background, how long you've been in real estate, the, the, all the amazing things you've done. T tell everybody, because we might have some new people here who are, to, there might actually be somebody out there that doesn't know who you are. So tell everybody about you. Okay, well, uh, real briefly, I started buying and selling houses in 1996, bought over 500 houses in, in uh, Colorado. Um, my expertise prior to that was in direct response marketing. So I applied that to real estate. Then I got books, tapes, seminars, you know, masterminds, conferences. You know, that's how you learn this business is networking and just never stop learning, right? And hang out with the right people. And so I became an expert at direct response marketing. Then I became an, uh, an expert kind of on creative financing, right? Started with subject to lease options, uh, gravitated towards targeting free and clear houses. So to do a lot of seller financing, of course, you want to be a transaction engineer, you know, uh, solve the problem for the seller or the buyer any way you can by being a pro. And I'm just really good at finding out what's preventing someone uh from you know achieving their goals in their real estate business and giving them a solution and a lot of the solutions are evergreen a lot of the solutions are been proven uh, a lot of people are not using the best practices um so do what you're told i mean william you teach people exactly what to do in, in your niche people should just do that <laughs> but what what prevents them you know, that's the inner game. So I'm really good at the inner game. Uh, but now my entire life has been about helping empower real estate entrepreneurs to achieve high level goals. Now with AI, my job is so much easier because I can just give you uh, uh, some simple tips and instructions and you can go out and empower yourself and get your own answers with AI. And you can do so much stuff it's almost overwhelming. I created a program recently, how to do anything, anywhere, all at once with AI. And I proved you can do anything. So what's important is, what do you want to do? What do you want to change? What do you, what's the next step to growing your business or making more money, right? Um, so that you can do new stuff or you can do what you know works. You, you can 10X that or you can do it more or you can do it better. And then you can do things you've never imagined. And we'll, we'll talk about some of that today if you want. Can't wait for oh, yeah. That. Oh, for sure. I'll tell you, when I think about AI, I think about movies like The Terminator and <laughs> iRobot <laughs> and things like that. It's like it's really scary. It's all going to take a right. Okay. Now, here's what I want everybody. If, you've all, if you're concerned about AI, if you have some concerns about AI, uh, what it's going to do to you, what it's going to do to the world, what it's going to do to society. What I want you to do is imagine um, not too uh, long from now, very shortly from now, that you are completely comfortable with it because this is a tool. It's like, were you afraid when the Internet came out? You know, a lot of, a lot, yeah, yes, right. right. <laughs> it's like, and it, depending on your profession or your job or your side hustle or whatever you were doing, right, it's like, this, uh, this is going to, you know, uh, uh, it's going to be harder to compete with this or something. Uh, you know, you want to take the opposite approach. You want to use a tool that's going to help you provide more value to the marketplace. So it, AI allows you to build better relationships, communicate better, market better, create um, uh, anything that you kind of, uh, it's very good for content creation, brainstorming, strategic planning. Um, but now you, now you, you can also use it for audio and video and images and all of that. So, but in your business, what's most important is who you are, what you do, who you do it for and why that's your marketing message. And you want to get that out as much in many different ways as possible. Now you can easily create a great new message for yourself and then get it out in multiple different ways with the help of AI. So I've always taught people to do that, but now you can just do it so much easier. Um, also, by the way, I, I, the number one th tool, if we're gonna talk about tools, I just wanna talk about chat GPT. That's what I talked about this weekend because it can be overwhelming. And that thing does so much 
You just want to learn what it does and start using it. Okay. And well, you know what I did? Well, you know, I have some software on creative deal structuring. Mm -hmm. I am creating prompts, creating questions to ask the AI, my AI assistant, chat GPT to structure offers through a conversation. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Okay. So, so what, what is, okay, for example, I, I'm going to assume most people on here, if, if they're at our level, they know very little about this or how to use it. So what is what, I mean, if, if, if I'm a, a newbie, total newbie at this thing, what is something I can go out right now and do and see the power of how this works? What would be the first thing you'd tell somebody to go out and, and do with it? I will tell you exactly what to do. Okay. All right. Number one, and this is very important because people screwed up. Uh, I got some feedback. They went and signed up for the wrong type of program. What you want to do is get a free account with openai.com. So go to openai.com. Don't search chat GPT because there's a lot of people that have chat GTP. They're offering a program but they're charging you for it and it's not the original. Okay. It's not what you think. So go to openai.com and sign up for free. You'll need a phone number and an email. Okay. Then there's, there's chat GPT 3.5, which is free and it works amazing. We can talk about what I created just on that. And then 4.5, uh, GPT-4, which is $20 a month, and you have all these uh, additional bells and whistles, which you will want to use, but you don't have to start with, okay? And we can talk about what, what so when I talk about what you can do in your real estate business with AI, I'll talk about whether it's, you know, in a free version of chat or the, uh, the $20 a month version. It's called the plus version. And they just came out with some new announcements yesterday, all these new stuff that it, it doesn't matter to you guys because you have, you need you start with the basics. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a question to ask that conversational bot to get you started today. So chat GPT is a conversational bot. So what you do is when you open up your account, you have conversations, right? So you say new conversation and then all you do will, is you ask it a question. It says, I'm a real estate investor. I'm looking to scale my business. I focus in on buying houses subject to. Um, here's, and then ask it a question. Okay. It say, help me uh, do this. So you need an outcome. You need a question. You need a, a goal. You need an intent. It's like, what do you want to change? What do you want to learn? What do you want to improve? So let me ask you, William and Jody. What would be really good things that people might improve in their business now for your members? What are some maybe some problems they'd like to overcome or some challenges? Uh, oh, well, one of the challenges we got is being afraid of AI. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so, so the first question you can ask is, I'm a little concerned about using AI in my business. Um, what are the pros and cons? Hmm. And it will, it will give you fun. It'll, it'll answer the question. And then if you have any, uh, if you don't, if you want to dry, dr drill down on one of those items, like, um, you know, uh, AI security or, you know, deep fakes, people like people can clone your video. They can clone your face. They can, they can clone your voice. They can create a video of you called a deep fake and, 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 and be, you know, go out and scam people and they think it's you. So people are concerned about things like that. Well, it'd be nice to be in a position where someone wants to clone you and use you as a deep fake. <laughs> so, but th there's a start. So what kind of, what do, what do you think would help people in their business? Your students, uh, for your most, members. For most of, of, of my students, it's, it's lead generation. I think always, you know, how do right. people to come to you that, that are qualified leads that, that want to sell their house on your terms. All right. So what you can do with AI is number one, you, you can improve all of your marketing. You can feed it all of your existing marketing to, and, and, and say, 
uh, and tell it, you know, I want to improve this or I want to make it more concise, right? Or I want to convert this, uh, this free special report into a web page, or I want to take my web page or a blog article and turn it into a video script, right? Um, so you can repurpose your marketing materials. I, I worked on my bio recently, William. I had all these documents. I was trying to put it all together and update it myself. I just went into chat GTP and I said, what are the best elements of, of a personal bio as a, you know, real estate educator, right? And it gave me a list and I said, okay, I'm going to give you a bunch of documents. Um, I want you to take those documents and create my new bio. It said, okay, go ahead. And I said, here's the first document. So I copied and paste pasted in there. It said, okay, great. What's the next document? I gave it two more, three more documents. And then I said, I'm done. And then it created my new bio for me. Wow. So you just have to copy and paste the text from a document. I mean, you, you don't upload documents or anything like that, right? Well, in, in, in the free version, you can just copy and paste and there is a memory limit. Okay. okay. Yesterday, just, they just announced if you're paying for it, they've expanded which if you're paying for it, you have more memory. And yesterday they, they just expanded a lot more. So a lot of the people that have started using it and says, Hey, I got these certain limitations. I've been telling people for months, don't worry about it. It's going to go away. So remember, just expand your thinking, do whatever you want. So yes, you can copy and paste. Now with the plus version, Jody, chat, chat GPT four, I recommend you sign up for that for $20 a month. And what you can do is now you can have the default mode, which has more capacity and it, you get better output. It's a little bit slower, but you get better output. Okay. Then all of this information that, that the AI is using, it's from a, la a large language model, which is basically the entire internet up until September, 2021. So there's this knowledge cutoff. So if you're asking questions on negotiation strategies or strategic planning or marketing, a lot of that stuff is evergreen and good, and it'll, it'll do fine with the knowledge cutoff. But if you want recent data, if you want to analyze markets, if you want uh, current news, current AI tools you want to search, current videos, you need access to the internet. So in chat GPT-4, in the plus version, you have your default model, and then you have your browse with Bing model. So now it's when you ask it a question, it'll go out on the internet and get answers. Then you have advanced data analysis where you can upload a file. So I recently went to Redfin, scraped out all of the existing rentals in, and you can download it on Redfin into a spreadsheet. I just attached the spreadsheet. I said, here's, here's 30 rentals. I wanna know uh, what are the three best uh, properties that are good for an, a landlord and what are the three best properties for the actual tenant? So you can ask the data. So you can attach uh, large amounts of data and analyze the data, merge data. You can clean up your data. Okay. So advanced data analysis. You can attach PDFs, Word documents, uh, spreadsheets. All right. Now with the plugins, that's another way to browse the internet, okay? And from the internet, and at, instead of uploading a file, Jody, what you do is you can give it a link to a website, a link to a PDF, a link to a file, and it will it will read it, and you can you can summarize it, you can ask it questions, you can take out all the key uh, takeaways. Uh, for example, a uh, uh, a video, a video transcript from YouTube. You could say, "Give me all the key lessons of this video." But you have to have a plugin or something for that. You said, "Yeah, the plugins are free, and uh, you have to have the uh, plus version of ChatGPT." So there's okay. about there's about 800 plugins, but there's a plugin store, and then you can search by keyword, and you can use up to three plugins at a time. You know how you have plugins on Chrome browser? Mm -hmm. on, okay. It's like you have programs that allow you to do certain things just in above and beyond just chatting, having a conversation right. with right. uh chat GPT. Okay. So oh, and, and then they added Do Dolly three, which allows you to create images. So now you can create images right in chat GPT. Or G okay. okay. So I, 
I gotta Keith. stop you. I gotta stop you. For a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you you <laughs> you you said something that really caught my attention. So if there's a three hour video, if someone that I follow ha has done a three hour YouTube video. I can, there's something in there that I can take the URL for that video, that transcript and say, okay, give me the key points, the key lessons from this three hour video and it'll spit them all out for me. I won't have to listen to three hours. Uh, let's use an example. Yes. Yeah, let's use an example. Is this video on YouTube? Yes. Okay. So uh, there's one tool I'll tell you, and I use this tool. It's called Adafy.app. Adafy dot app. I, I love it. Eight Adafy. Oh. E uh, E I G H T I F Y dot app. Maybe someone can look it up, put it in the chat, right? It's a Chrome browser, but they also have a plugin for it. Okay. So I have it as a Chrome browser. So when I go to YouTube, it'll say it'll it'll if it's installed, it'll have a button to summarize the video. Now there's different types of summaries you can do. You can do just kind of the, you can do a short summary. You can, it summarizes all the key points or you can do a long summary or an entire transcript. Mm. Now the other thing you can do is when you go to YouTube, if you can download the transcript, then you can upload it to ChatGPT, uh, advanced data analysis, and have it take out the key points that way. But Adafy is an AI tool uh, that does that for you. And there's a plugin in chat so you can do it in chat. Right. Well, the reason I ask is because a lot of videos like that don't allow you to access a transcript. So if, if you could have something go through it, that would really be helpful for sure. Yep. Yep. There's a number of plugins where if you give it a link to a YouTube video, it will, it will, It'll do whatever you ask it to do. It'll, re it'll basically summarize it. It'll give you the key points. It'll do all kinds of things. And, and <laughs> why do you read a book? Because you want the key lessons. Yes. So recently I said, what are the books that influenced Elon Musk? And I got a list of books, right? And then I, I, so I said, well, I'm not familiar with this book. So I asked, I said, what, summarize this book for me. Right. It summarized the book for me. And I said, OK, what are the key take key lessons that an, a real estate entrepreneur could use from this book? And it just tells you exactly what you wanted to know. You don't have to read the book. You just got the key lessons. Right. OK. Well, I mean, so I guess one of my main questions, and I think Joyce had this question here. She asked about specifically what the first question to ask chat GPT, but I mean, how do you know, everybody talks about prompts, but how do you learn how, what to ask it to get the information that you want? All right. I mean, don't the, you have to speak its language sort of? Uh, well, no, no, it's no, it's, it's natural language. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, all you do is just ask questions. So a prompt is a question. Mm -hmm. Now, there's prompts and there's what I call super prompts. And then what I'll give you guys today is a mega prompt. Okay. Okay. A, a, a prompt is, hi, is uh, hey, I'm a real estate investor and I want to grow my business. Give me a game plan. Right. Uh, I could get, that's just a question, right? And it, that's a general question. But if you, if you get more specific with your question and your goal and your intent, the longer that's more of a super prompt. Okay. So you well, can start. Like, that's like with people. I mean, you have to ask the right <laughs> to get the right answer. Yes. Here, think of chat GPT as your AI advisor. Okay. That's an expert. In fact, I was having, I was trying, I was working on getting some expert advice and I came to the conclusion. I even asked it. I said, all right, so I have to treat chat GPT as both a child and an expert. <laughs> and it yeah. said, yes, and it told me why. Right. <laughs> because yeah. the more specific you are with what you ask. So you can't ask a good question until you in your own mind know what do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do? 
So what I've been doing, William, is I've been expanding people's uh, awareness of what you can do. Right. Okay. Because I, I, I'm doing a three day, four hour a day virtual summit next month. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for real estate investors. I'm going to all the best uses for AI and chat GPT. I've already actually created all the prompts. So I don't all the questions. And how did I do that? I, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I did that. I'm going to give you a prompt that you guys can go open up a free account. And it's like, what do I ask? Right? Well, ask anything. So it's say, so the prompt, if you want to write this down is, uh, here's the question to ask. Give me three prompts that will help me do blank as a blank your role in your area if you want to add that. So you can get more specific or be jig. If you're general, you'll get a general answer, but then you can drill down on because they'll give you a bunch of stuff and you can just expand on everything. Good. Can you, but, can you ask them but, like follow up, ask you like follow up questions like that, that. That's what I mean by drilling down. So as soon as it answers your question, you, you'll have questions about what they said, right? That, right? So you ask those. So that's called a conversation. So every time you use chat GPT, you're creating a new conversation about on a topic. You ask a question and that's, that's what you do. You ask follow up questions and then you ask it to do stuff. Like I, I, um, I'll, I'll give you an example. I went into chat GTP and I said, Hey, I want to make $600 an hour using chat GPT. What questions do you need to ask me in order for you to help me? Wow. That's cool. That's a, su <laughs> that's a super prompt. Okay. It gave me 10 questions and I, and th they're great questions and you answer all those questions. And I created three amazing ways to make $600 an hour with chat GTP. And one of them is paying off debt at a discount or, or paying off, say paying off it's vendors. Off the things. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you're, you have a $200 a month bill with your, uh, some type of VA or, uh, uh you're, you're outsourcing something for $200 a month. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, if you spend a couple of hours reducing that for a long period of time, you can make $600 an hour, right? All right. So we came up with that idea. And then I said, okay, go ahead and write the email to my VA and tell them that it, it, it basically negotiate the deal for me. <laughs> and, and so you can uh, write, uh, so yeah, so okay, so that was a prompt. That's a super prompt. So it gave me questions. So another uh, <laughs> The first one of the first programs I made was how to do anything anywhere all at once with AI and And I asked the question I said I want to do anything. All right. What questions do you have to ask me? <laughs> all right, so So that's it. Most people don't know that uh, where you you say, I want to do this and then ask chat to, to ask you at what to ask. Okay. Now here's, here's the mega prompt. And I have a, a program that I I'll get you. I can get to your uh, folks where you, they can get this, uh, William, mm -hmm. but, um, it's called, I, I created a program. It took me one day. It's called super prompts for real estate investors with chat GPT. And here's what I did. Here's how I created it. Um, I was creating a, a, a bonus system for a package for one of the real estate gurus. He said he wanted something uh, with chat GPT and AI. And so what I did is I asked chat PT, chat, chat, <laughs> I asked chat, um, give me, give me three prompts that I would ask you so you could help me start creatively buying and selling real estate with little or no money down and blah, 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 right? So I, it's like, give me a game plan to get started as a creative real estate investor, right? So I said, give me three prompts that where you would help me create a game plan to get started effectively and successfully buying and selling as a creative real estate investor. Just asking that question, it gave me three prompts. It told me, it says, okay, basically, if you want me to help you with that, ask me this. 
So they gave me three prompts. They were all good. I only got through the first one. You know why? I took that prompt and I asked it and it gave me a complete 10 step go, uh, game plan for building a multi-million dollar real estate business, which is exact. It doesn't matter what investing strategy that you have, because that's part of the game plan. Learn different investing strategies. Everything that you can think of that would cause people to be successful or overcome challenges is in this step, this uh, 10 steps. So, and I can show you that. Uh, well, I can't show you that. Um, I could talk about it. Um, so I, each step, what I, I said, okay, now, so you guys can go get those, that your own game plan, just using that prompt. Then what I did is I said, give me three action items so that chat GPT can help me knock out step number one. And now I have three prompts to knock out number one. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and then you just use those prompts. So you, <laughs> it, it's, you can do anything. You can do yeah. anything. That, that's why I asked you what, what would really, oh, you talked about marketing. What would really help your folks? So we could talk specifically on marketing and stuff like that, generating leads, finding deals. Hey, uh, Cindy had a comment. She said she went to OpenAI and tried to create an account and said her email was not supported. Her email was not, uh, use a different email. Now make sure that you're at openai.com. Yeah. And I don't know why her email wouldn't be supported. So I'd try a different email. I haven't heard that before. Yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> uh, so, so, it, so what you're saying is when you start a new conversation, if you ask it a couple of questions and then you come back two weeks later, it remembers your conversation. And so you yeah. can just continuously ask it, you know, expand on what you started with and, and get, you, you just call it drilling down. Um, yeah. But remember we talked to, remember we talked about that memory limit. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a memory limit. So as you have a conversation, it will start forgetting what you were talking about. Okay. okay. So if it get the conversation goes too long, it won't remember what you were originally doing. Now I have some advanced strategies for handling that, but just know that that's going to happen. Okay. Right. So what you can do is you can break in a, a project into pieces, have different conversations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can share conversations. So one of the things you can do is start a new conversation, ask your question. I say, and then say, uh, you know, have a plug in that, that, accesses links and then say, refer to my previous conversations. You could, you could do advanced stuff like that. But with, with this new uh, expanded memory, that problem is less of an issue, right? right. And, and I, there's another chat bot called Claude, which has larger memory. So I've been using that, but now I don't have to use that anymore because they got the expanded memory. So each conversation should be on a specific topic and the, so you can go back to it. So here's what you can do. Treat a conversation and you can give it a persona. Like this is my marketing assistant. This is my social media coach. This is my strategic planner. This is my sales guy, right? This right. is my, all right. So you can give it. You can just have those type of conversations, but you can also give it a persona and I'll be happy to share the personas I created. Now I know how to create any persona, but I've already created three that are really good. Have you ever heard of Alex Hermosi? No. Okay. He's a top marketing marketer, right? And he's right. really good. So I created, I had chat. I, I, I downloaded a, a transcript of his uh, sales presentation, right? His talk. And I, I, I said, uh, create uh, a persona for this speaker, right? Mm -hmm. And then I had, now what you go, you go into chat and you say, I want you to act like a, a let's say, a strategic planner for the most successful real estate entrepreneurs on the planet. <laughs> All right. Okay. And, and you can, if you tell it to act like that, it can act like that. Now, the more specific you are with that persona, the better. So what I did is when I created my strategic planner persona, I had a conversation. 
of what are the traits, characteristics, and skills of a world-class strategic planner for real estate entrepreneurs or for entrepreneurs in general, right? And it gave me all those characteristics. I said, describe all that, right? And then I said, here's what I did, William. This is advanced. I said, I said, oh, my friend John has all those characteristics. Tell John how wonderful he is. So it said, okay, you are, and it, it I told him how, all these things that he was, right? And I said, okay. And I took, I copied that. And that was my persona to tell chat. That's who they are. Right. So you can do that. <laughs> so, so can now, you make yourself, wait, can you make yourself a girlfriend? Oh yeah. We don't want to get into that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you know what? You can. Um, so, uh, uh, so for example, if you wanted to start writing um, a, a series of follow-up emails to people that opt into your web form, right? right. I would say, hey, I would say, hey, I'm writing a series of emails to opt into the buyers onto my buyers list, right? Mm -hmm. And I would say, what are the what are the success strategies and, and, and best practices for creating a series of emails for someone opting into a form? And it's going to tell you, right? And then I'll say, okay, here's, here's the type of emails that I want to do. Go ahead and use those elements that you just told me to write those series of emails for me. That's pretty amazing, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing all the stuff. I want to give it a try. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, for sure. Richard, you, uh, you can't share your screen and do this. Can you, or like, are you can, not set up for that? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's do that. Yeah, that that would be amazing to see yeah. that. And guys, while we're talking about that, uh, we haven't talked about sharing this. If you know anybody that can benefit from this, uh, just uh, share our live stream on your social media and type hashtag shared in here in the comments uh, and we'll enter you in for a drawing this morning for a couple of uh, a really cool sub two deals cup. So give that a shot. Yeah. I, I think there's a share button on there for you, a present button uh, where you can uh, share your screen, Richard, if you want to show us an example. All right. Let me, let me take a look at that. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So I have uh I have this document uh, because I'll show you this because I think everybody should take a look at this. It's got this game plan here, um, but then I have chat GTP up so we can, we can ask it anything I can demonstrate. Okay. So this is that document that basically William, I created a thousand dollar real estate training course with this 40 page document of prompts that instead of me teaching them all these steps and coaching them, they can just ask chat. <laughs> and get all the answers and drill down and do it specifically for them. So this is, um, I got this event coming up. And by the way, if you go to my website and you sign up for my, this event, I, I created a, a discount code for your members, uh, William. Oh, nice. It's, it's GOAT, G-O-A-T, okay? Sweet. So if you, if you want to sign up for this, um, this event, I'm going to basically walk you through all of this, all of these uh, steps to be successful in your real estate business using chat, using other AI tools. Okay. But here is, here are the 10 topics of the guide. So if you go to this um, page, it's, you go to profitpro.ai, it'll redirect you to portal.profitproai. If you go, go to, or well, actually go, go to forward slash, uh, sub two deals, S U B the number two deals. And I have a link to this there. So I'll show you that. I put that up there for you. Well, I, I, I just kind of put all this stuff just yeah, before you got, got on right there. Yeah. All right. So now these, uh, here's the guide that it created for me. When I gave it that mega prompt, when it, when it gave me those, I said, give me three prompts to help me create a, a game plan for my creative real estate business as a beginner. It gave me three prompts. When I asked the first prompt, this is the game plan that it gave me. Educate yourself, build a network, define uh, your strategy and market, arrange your financing, assemble your team, acquisitions, due diligence, renovations, 
selling and review and repeat. So now there's three things for each of these, right? Mm -hmm. That's, that's where I went in there and I created prompts for each of those. Okay. And then, um, so this is actually a free bonus with my event. So don't order it for 300 bucks because you can get it for free. Okay. But if you go to this page, you can read that step-by-step -step guide, which has value in itself. All right. This is what I talked yesterday when I talked to uh, an audience. I, I talked about all the different uses for uh, in these different categories. Okay. And so if I go to chat, let's see. Let me go. I have to uh, stop my sharing. And I'll, I, I think I can share a new tab. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Share screen uh chat uh oh yeah sub two deals let's go there so if you go to forward slash sub two deals this is where you'll 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 get that if you click this button it'll actually apply that that discount code automatically right but if you don't use this button just use goat when you check out um but yeah this th this is the link to what i just showed you and so here and then you can get details on what i'm going to do during that three-day virtual summit which well, basically I'm creating a new, um, a, a new training system and as part of that system, I'm doing this live event. So this is like a one-time opportunity to help me build that system. In fact, uh, William, I'm doing a bunch uh, of, when people enroll, I'm doing weekly calls every week up until the event. So I can help you along the way because you have some of the stuff already but also make sure that we cover what people want at the event, but also, you know, knock out, share cool stuff and answer questions along the way before the event. So right. let, me, let me go ahead and share uh, chat GTP. And what kind of thing would you like to see in chat? Well, I don't know. I, I think this is more targeted. Well, I mean, I, I just have to figure most people are at the same level Jody and I are, and that's, we don't know a thing. So if you're new and you're getting started with it, how would you use it? All right. That, that would be a great place to start. We don't know. I mean, All we right. haven't done it. We don't even know what to, what to ask at first. You know? All right. So what happens when you log in, you set up your account, you have your chat log over here. Okay. You see my screen? Those are different conversations. Those are different conversations. These are the ones I had yesterday. Here's the ones that I had seven days ago. Here's the ones that I had 30 days ago. All right. All right. So yeah, you can have a, you can go back to a conversation because it's already learned what you're talking about. Right. So you can continue that conversation. Um, but yeah, it's going to run out of memory, but now with the new expanded, that's, that's less of, less of an issue. All right. So down here is your, uh, your account. You can see my, my pointer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So you click on that and it, this is my, my plan because it, it's, it's going to be free or you're paying $20 a month. Now they have these, they're, they're going to have like $35 a month and stuff like that. But right now just free or $20 a month. So I pay 20 custom instructions. All right. I'm teaching people how to use these custom instructions and it's just like marketing. Uh, William, if you, if you, you can, you can teach someone how to get some postcards in the mail, but what's really going to be make the difference is the strategy. Who are you mailing to? What does your postcard say? What is your approach? Right? So that's the strategy. So you go into here to custom instructions and did you see the pop-up window? Right. Okay. So it'll tell you how to set up your custom instructions in here. Um, it'll give you some tips, but basically what you do is you put in, if you put in like your elevator speech, who you are, what you do, who you do it for and why, then chat GTP will remember that every time you start a new conversation, you don't have to remind it. Hey, I'm a real estate investor. I do subject to or whatever. Okay. Oh. All right. Or where you're located. Then you can also give it instructions if you want it to respond in a certain way. And we don't want to get into that right now. And you can also turn this off. Okay. If you don't, 
if you don't want it to use those on a new chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I ha so you want to learn now. How do you think you want to learn how to uh, use custom instructions? Ask Chat GPT. <laughs> okay. All right. Now there's some people that have some YouTube videos and some articles that have some advanced strategy behind using it, like I do, right? So you can also do that, but just start with the basics, okay? What is it? How does it work? And then just go ahead and use it at a minimum, right? Now, the other thing on your account is you have your settings and your beta, okay? Now, you have general, and you can clear all your uh, chats. Um, I I'm never going to do that. Um, all right, so as a plus user, if you're paying $20 a month, you can turn on these plugins. And you can turn on advanced data analysis. So I have those on. You can turn them off. And then in your data controls, you can actually share a link that you've created a conversation with other people. And once they have it, they can actually continue that conversation. <laughs> so this is where I manage all my shared links. And uh, you can delete them, or you can rename them, or you can share them. Okay. And you can export all of your data. Uh, that's like later if you're you got so much so many conversations, you want to find something. That's one way to do it. There'll be better ways to do it later, though. Um, and you can also turn this button off. So remember the concern that people have about using AI. Well, one of the concerns is if I put all my data into Chat GPT, is it going to use my data? Yes, it's actually going to use your, your data to to teach how the bot how to respond better it's not necessarily going to use your content but if you're concerned about that you can turn that off okay all right all right so that all right so now when you with a free account you have three i started a new conversation with a free account you can ask any question all right uh give me three top ways to find motivated sellers in texas all right i said seller i didn't say sellers but if you make but if you make um mistakes <laughs> typos it can understand and basically all this is is running a program it, it has a bunch of words and based on the words the the order and sequence of your words it 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 runs billions of you know connect you know processes to figure out how to respond and how to act, act conversationally okay so i get three top ways so here real estate investor wholesalers and investors networks isn't that a great way get it from other investors right <laughs> especially wholesalers right because i didn't even say i was creative right okay direct mail and then online and social media see i only asked for three right and ask for the three top ways, right? And then I can say, yeah. Go ahead. I, I did something. I did something simpler than that, but I I did this a few months ago. I asked for like I think it was ten um, titles for an article or something like that, and I came up with ten. It was fine. But when I went to ask for more, I just started. I think I just started a new conversation, and I said. Okay, give me ten, give me twenty instead, and and it's like started over. But I could have just continued on with that first question, and like, how would you do that? Do you know what I mean? Hey, uh, I, I, are, you, are you saying it forgot what you were talking about? No, I think I just started a new chat when I did it, or something. Oh, like oh, no, yeah, no, you want to do it in the same same thing. So See how here. Do you, how do you ask it like a specific? Give me three more. Give me three more. Oh, just okay. Well, that's way easier than I thought. <laughs> I started all over. It really sounds. Right. Like it's, it's just like a conversation with a person. Right. Give me four more. Right okay. now, look, I got three. Right. Yeah. So it said, "Okay, local real estate auctions, driving for dollars, real estate agents with distressed properties." I said, "Give me four more. Probate, local real estate clubs, bandit signs, flyers." Now, now we have 10 ways, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, please list the 10 ways above in categories in a table. 
So I'm asking it to categorize. <laughs> it just <laughs> now this is this is the free version, right? So I I can say what what AI tools would help uh help me apply these strategies. All right. Oh, by the way, it is operating off of my custom instructions. So it knows I'm an investor and I use AI and all that. Okay. All right. Uh, so what AI tools would help me apply? Uh, so it, it talks about them, right? So here's some tools. It's not giving me specific tools, right? Um, more specific? uh let's see uh, we'd have to read through this see uh use ai powered lead okay so ai powered lead generation tools right mm -hmm. uh for number one give me uh three popular tools and web links how's that Wow. Now you can bet it's better to it's better to do this with um, G, GPT four when you're browsing with Bing or you're using the plugins. In fact, there's plugins that go directly to these tool directories. Uh, but you also what I like to do is I like to find like articles, YouTube videos, and articles that are talking about here's the here's the seven top tools for this right, and it'll do and Bing will do that right. So now it's given me PropStream, it's given me Zillow Premier Agent, and it's given me REI Rail. That's interesting. Is there okay. a reason that the, that the uh, memory or whatever it only goes back a year or two? I'm yeah, sure. because when 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 they released this to the public in November, they that's November of of twenty twenty two, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're they're creating a system. It's like when you create a course. Well, your course is outdated after you've published it, right? Okay. <laughs> now you have, you have to update it. So it's just the data that they had when they were working on creating the model. And instead of changing the uh, original database, what they did is they just created chat GPT four, uh, where you can access, you know, where you can expand off, off that uh, data. But I don't know why they don't keep that, that data up to date, but there are other but right. so it's not an it's it's that knowledge cutoff is becoming less and less of an issue. So, yeah. yeah. All right. So now it gave me actually it actually gave me links right, and I can drill down on this. And um, questions on that? Oh, I, I forgot. I posted this this question up, and I didn't even ask you. It says, "Can it? Can you ask how many leads do I need to close a deal in Vegas?" Uh. It seems a little like there's not a real finite answer for that, but. All right. Now this is going to give me data as of September, 2021, right? Right. All right. So I'll go ahead and ask that question, but let's get more specific. How many, what type of leads? Inbound calls. How many inbound calls? He didn't specify. <laughs> huh? There's no, the, whoever asked this question, I don't know who it is didn't specify that. Oh, okay. Well, you have to, you have to, uh, okay. So then you got to go to your intent. I am in Las, Las Vegas. Uh, and I want to know how many leads I need to close a deal. Now I know, that's why it's good to work with me and, and, and folks like you guys is because I know you got to be more specific because that's going to depend on your investing strategy, right? right? And your marketing, right? Well, are these inbound leads or outbound leads, right? That's why I asked that. So I, but I'm going to be general. Now, now here's what you can do. What do you need to know so you can help? And guess what? It's going to ask these questions that we know it needs to know, right? That was. It looks like that was Matt who asked that question. 
Matt, if you're still on, ask. Give me more details. Well, well, here's it. Here's the deal. It okay to determine how many leads, you got to know your conversion rate. Mm -hmm. You got to know your deal size. You got to know your time frame, <laughs> right? So you go ahead and give it those answers, right? Once you provide that information, I'll help you calculate the approximate number of leads. See? That's cool. So there you, yeah. So it tells you what, what you need to go find and, and input. Uh, yeah, you can just, yeah, you can always, yeah, you can be more specific with your question or you can ask a general question and drill down on it. And, but I kind of help this question out by, by asking it, hey, what else do you need to know? Right, right, right. right. That's cool. That is yeah. awesome. Hey guys, we've got a few minutes left. If y'all have specific questions about uh, AI or chat GPT, let us have them. This could be a three hour show for sure. Oh yeah. For sure. I know. And it's so much fun. It is so much fun. In fact, it could be three, four hour workshops That's in right. December. Exactly. Exactly. What, are you, what are you leading up to Richard? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is what, this is what we're going to do, but we're going to be more, um, I'm going to have it all laid out, but we're going to have time actually before the event and during the event to work on anything you want to work on, get all of your questions answered. But like you, I'm, I'm glad you guys brought me down to opening an account and getting started because that's what people need to do. Right. It's, it, it, you know, that's in anything. I mean, whether we tell students all the time, they're just getting started, just get out and have a conversation with a seller, you know, talk to some people. Get, get some <laughs> right. people and obviously if you're going to use this, you've got to open an account. We, we can all, tell richard's really excited about it <laughs> for sure how oh, do you notice geez. that yeah that, you know what uh, he's like, he's like, here's the deal i because i know what my goals are and i know i can achieve my goals what i want to instill in you guys is i want you to create compelling exciting goals for your real estate business that you never thought of i think whatever you're doing if you're successful you can scale it five times but the only question is when that, so you got number one, you got to set a goal, then you make a plan, then you plan your work, knock it out, put, you know, work your plan and then get feedback and adjust. So you need to set a goal. So I want you guys to think, okay, I'd love to five X my business. What would that look like? What that would, what, how would I know I got there? So it should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant. It's got to be important to you. And then timed, you got to put a date on it. So it's like, I want to 5X my business within 12 months, right? Create that goal very specifically, then create your plan. What's the best way to create your plan? Ask chat. <laughs> and you want a, you want a community, you want, you want people to help you, okay? So you've created a community, William. I've created uh, an AI community, right? But now my community is really getting uh, specifically on real estate investors using AI, right? right? So, so you want that, you don't want to try and do it on your own because it, and you want to learn from other people because you'll spend a few hours and come up with something amazing for yourself. Then you can share that and other people can share what they've learned. And so let's collaborate. Right. So, so we're really excited about, about your event. Um, when you sent me the link to that, I was, I was really looking forward to, to getting out there and attending. So guys, you can go to. Uh, no, 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 not getting out there. It's online. No, that's, that's what I'm at. Well, okay, I mean, you okay. know, getting, getting online. You know, getting out there, like everything. into the AI getting world. out there into the <laughs> AI world. For sure. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, portal. Uh, do we need to make that link clickable? Can you do that, Jody? Can you put I that? I can do in it in the. the Comments, yes. Yeah, we can do that in the comments, portal.profitpro.ai slash sub two deals. So we really appreciate that, Richard, that you're letting us have that. So listen, final final thoughts on AI. I mean, I know you think it's great. Uh, it sounds, man, I mean, yeah, I've been a little bit afraid of it, honestly. Uh, you know, it was well, like I said, that, that used to be my comment. Or anytime somebody talked about AI, I'd say, have you guys seen the Terminator? Are you aware of Skynet? Look, yeah, that's, look, the smartest people in the world that helped uh, actually create uh, OpenAI, right. which, in, which includes Elon Musk, right. the smartest people in the world are saying, hey, at some point, AI is going to become, could become self-aware and it's going to be out of control. Guess what? We either have Armageddon or Utopia. So in the meantime, 
there's what you do whatever you can and i focus in on what i want so i'm focusing on creating utopia which i believe we can but if we're going down to armageddon there's what can i do about it i can only try and educate people on the other way so the number one thing to avoid attracting armageddon and the stuff you're worried about is don't worry about it don't focus on it don't if, if you if you can change it then do something about it right for yeah. sure yeah i agree with that 100%. and educate yourself the more you educate yourself about your concerns the more they'll disappear right so you guys go out there get you an account openai.com and just start talking to it i guess talking to the <laughs> the chat I, what i mean the persona i don't they're talking uh, to your new no. friend well, the persona is an advanced strategy, right? right? It's basically your AI advisor. But okay? you're going to talk about that in that four day thing you're doing, right? How to create yeah. these personas. Yeah. So, and I'm and, and if you sign up for the event, I'll give you those three I talked about. Uh, but yeah, I'll teach you how to do the personas. But I want to go ahead and create the personas for you, too. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's nice to know how to do it. That's why I wanted to teach you how I created that 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 document. So if I understand you right, if you've created personas for, for marketing or sales or, or convert, what, whatever they may be, it's almost like you have this person that you've created that's an expert, that's an advisor. You can ask any one of those questions anytime you have it, and they can give you a knowledgeable answer on what's it. Right. Doing. And the simplest way to do that is start a conversation asking, what are the best uh, key uh success strategies on this topic and start talking about that it'll give you a list ask some questions about that and then and then now it, it you've and that's called a pre-prompt william a pre-prompt right. so when you when you start giving it some information or asking it information because you can also copy and paste information to pre-prompt it that way right mm -hmm. and uh so then 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 work on your goal, work on your, what you want to accomplish, work on your task. AI, when you have a conversation, you want to complete something. You want to create an output or make a decision or, or whatever. Right. 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 Okay. Man, that, that's some great information. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, Richard, you sharing that with us today. I have all kinds of ideas now. Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> All right, real quick, I'm going to share my screen real quick. I want to show show you. Uh, uh, GPT four. So we just did a demo on three point five, and that's pretty darn good, isn't it? Right. All right. So let's go with a new conversation. So I click on new conversation, and right here. Uh, by the way, uh, let's see. So I go over here to four. Okay. So I click on four. And I have the default mode. I can select browse with Bing. I can do advanced data analysis where I can upload files. And I have the plugins, which we could go do 90 minutes just on that. Okay. And then I have Dolly 3. Dolly 3 uh, is, is an image generator. Okay. So I've been using MidJourney. That's like the number one thing I've used. If you see a lot of my images on, on my website and stuff, it's all AI, right? So, uh, uh, real estate. Uh, so I'm in the image, I'm in Dolly. So I got real estate investor goat. <laughs> all right. What else do you want me to add to that image? <laughs> a plaid shirt. A plaid shirt. Uh, no, give me a scenario or what, what do you want the image to, to, uh, what kind of image you want it as a logo? Sure. sure. Why not? All right. Logo of a real estate investor goat. Uh, great, great. What is it? Greatest of all time. Right now, hopefully now it gets, it, it, it screws up with a uh, text. Okay, so when you're working on images, just go ahead and use a program like Canva to, to add the text to it and stuff. But it's actually getting much better with the text. Um, and, it, and if it, it gets the text wrong and you're trying to get it to do text, just regenerate it. But um, it's, this is for good for images. 
And when you're doing logos, it might put it, it'll, it might put the goat on there like as words or something. But I'm I'm expecting a, a picture of a goat. <laughs> yeah. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now what you can do is just like you have a, a, a different conversation. What you can do? Did I stop my share? Yeah, you did. I, Okay, what you can do is you can ask it to adjust those imagers and see. You, you saw the you saw the buildings and you saw the buildings in the background. You can say, put it on a beach or in the mountains, right? Can you Go. say I want it to be less creepy and more cartoony or something like that? Absolutely. You can ask it. You can t ask. Yes. I didn't like that one. It looked like the devil. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I would say that. That looks a little creepy. It looks like. What what do they call that ball ball of fault or something? Yeah, it looks like the devil. Looks like a demon. Make it make it make it. You can say make it look friendly, right? Make it look right. uh, trustworthy, right? You have, to, you have to have version four for this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Matt Matt had another question. He wants to know if you can ask it where the housing prices will be in twenty twenty four. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, it's called predictive analysis. You do that with advanced data. Uh, you use that with that advanced data analysis. And what you do is you go out and get data on your market. Uh, and then you copy and paste it. You, you use web scrapers. Um, there's web scraper plugins, or you can copy and paste. paste. I have a web scraper tool on my, just like um, uh, Adafi.app, I told you, is a plugin. I have one called Instant Data Scraper. So go to the Chrome store, install Instant Data Scraper, and you can scrape information on websites. You you put you give all that information to chat and tell it what you want with that information. So what information would help you predict uh, where rents are going, values are going. In fact, you know what I did, William? I asked a question about, I usually say, uh, tell me about the best AI tools for this. And then I say, it was for commercial real estate. And I said, in 2023, the reason why I said in 2023 is because I wanted to activate my plugin to browse the internet. Okay. Because I had have plugins installed. Now, I made a typo. I said 2024. And it told me what was going to happen with commercial real estate next year and all the biggest problems with it. Oh, wow. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. All right, Richard, we're going to have to get out of here, man. But uh, we do appreciate you being on here yeah, today and sharing. And, and uh, we're looking forward to your four-day event. We're going to learn a bunch of stuff there. So, yeah, yeah we sure. appreciate that out of it. Uh, yeah, just go. If you don't have the link, go to profitpro.ai. Scroll down and you'll see that, that summit that we're doing, right? Click on that. And if you decide to enroll, use GOAT as the promo code and you'll get the you'll get the the bonuses. I have bonuses that are starting tomorrow, William. I'm doing bonus calls every week, so the first one starts tomorrow. So the sooner you enroll, if you want to come, the more su extra bonus support you're gonna get. That's so I think with the, the link that says portal, whatever, that's that will get you there too. That'll take you directly to, I created that specifically for your guys. But yeah, that will, if you use the link on that page at subject two, right? Mm -hmm. Or slash sub, sub two deals, uh, that link will automatically activate that code for you. Yeah. Okay. Right. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the comments. So. Yep. That's right. I'll put it All in right. the, I'll put it in the $7 group too. All right. Sounds great. Okay. Thanks so much, Richard. We really Thank you, that. Richard. All right. See you soon. Oh, fabulous. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, that's it. Go out there, create your I'm account so at openai.com and then start asking some questions. This and, is my uh, new my new best toy. Uh-oh. Okay. All <laughs> right. Well, I'm scared. I'm really scared now. So. I know what look what this look at. <laughs> uh, everybody knows. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. Get out there. Talk to Chat GPI and buy some GPT. And GPT? Buy some Is it GPT? See, I, I can't even get that straight. I know. Y'all right. have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. Right. Bye bye.